Okay, hello everybody. I'm going to show you today how to connect your iPod Touch. This is a iPod, just to make sure. Um, my version is uh, 4.1, so you can see there. You can connect it to this. Uh, I'm going to show you how to connect it to Z Wire. Now, this is a modem, and uh, yeah. I hear people have been having trouble with this particular modem, so yeah, I'll show you how to do that. First, on your iPod Touch, you want to make sure you are actually getting a signal from your internet. Um, uh, you can uh, do that by going to Settings, Wi-Fi, and yeah, searching. As you can see, that's my internet connection right there, and I'm going to just. Uh, forget that network for now so I can um I can show you how to connect to it uh, so I'll have to enter the password again first you'll have to go to the website in the uh, uh, in the description uh, there's a link in the description of this video and uh, if I don't post it there just leave a comment because sometimes I forget to post that uh, just look at the link, and uh, you don't have to download anything, so it's not one of those, you know, stupid download sites where it's like, oh yeah, download doesn't work, and have to do something else. So, just go to that website, and uh, I'll show you what to do on that website now. Okay, once you enter that link, this is the website you will be at, hopefully. And then, um, now first you want to go to uh, uh, make... This it, it should show you a router if you're using a two wire. By the way, this method only works for a two wire modem. I'm pretty sure. Okay, first thing you're gonna do is click View Home Network right there. Next, click Edit Settings. And then make sure your uh. SSID broadcast is enabled. Make sure wireless security is enabled. Um, and make sure your on authentication is at WPA PSK. And uh, you can use a default encryption key or the custom encryption key. That is your Wi-Fi password. And uh, your um, frequencies can be changed to uh, uh, 1 to 6. Uh, there's 1 to 12 are the options. 1 to 6 works best, I'm pretty sure. And uh, that's the... Uh, you can also change your network name where it says network name there. And there's the specs, uh, the settings. Um, the authentication should be WPA-PSK. That's how I got mine to work, so you'll need that, I'm pretty sure. Okay, uh, that's pretty much how to do that. So thanks for watching. See you later. Okay, after you do that, go on your iPod. Oh, shoot. Okay, go on your iPod, you're searching for Wi-Fi. As you can see, I'm getting my Wi-Fi from my modem right there. Of course, it's three bars, and I'm just going to enter my password. My password is entered, now I press join, and we are on. So, test that out. First, we'll test it on Safari. Yes, you can go on there switch sites just to make sure google.com loading google works test out youtube youtube works and uh, everything else should work feel free to leave a comment and i'll try my best to answer it so thanks for watching